Big update coming soon to Marvel Strike Force. We're going to talk all about it in this video, guys. Four new playable characters, new Do More chapter coming to the campaigns with some new farmable characters. Also, ISO 8 changes and a lot more, guys. We're going to talk all about it in this video, giving my predictions and giving you your preview for this next update. And if you're ready for it, guys, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're ready for this big update that looks to be dropping very, very soon in Marvel Strike Force. I will give my predictions for the exact date on it, but I, I think uh, I think we're gonna be in line with what you're predicting as well. I think it's gonna be next week, but uh, we're gonna talk about it at the end of this video. Let's talk about uh, what we have expecting in this next update by those two bombshells of in-game mails that we saw in our inbox in Marvel Strike Force yesterday uh, that indicates that the update is coming very, very soon. Very tricky. We did not see data mines on this, so it looks like they're clearing up that, and we're not getting as many data mines. Unfortunately, we did not see this beforehand. It just dropped all of a sudden last night. Let's go take a look at the mail itself. Four new playable characters in this update. Let's actually move the camera so we can see this whole thing. Four new playable characters. ISO 8 updates, new campaigns, and more. Get ready for these and other big changes coming soon. We're going to talk about what all of that can mean. We're going to talk about the notes from the Strike Time episode as well. But let's start with this. Four new playable characters. We'll move the camera back down here. Four new playable characters. We saw the first in the blog post last week. Yellow Jacket was announced. We saw his kit in the blog post. So let's go take a look at that. Boom, the Searing Stinger confirming Yellow Jacket coming to Marvel Strike Force. Now, this was a character that has been in Marvel Strike Force for a little while now, all the way back in beta. Over two years ago, this character was in the game files and along with some other characters. And people were asking me, who are the other characters that were in the beta that were not released yet? One of them was Red Hulk, still not released yet. And another was Abomination. So two Hulk characters were in the beta. Their avatars were there, still not in the game yet. So at some point, they're probably coming to Marvel Strike Force. But another one of these beta data mine characters are out of the way with Yellow Jacket. Now, part of the Pym Tech team was rumored for a little while that this would be a full team coming with reworks to Ant-Man and Wasp coming to this game. Uh, was called the Quantum Team in the rumors, but it looks like the official name for this team is the Pym Tech Team. And he's going to be a Villain Global Blaster Tech character. His basic, very, very simple. Attacking the primary target for 250% damage and then bonus attacking for 230% damage. So if we rewind his footage here, let's scroll all the way down so you guys can see this here. And let's move it all the way to the beginning. See that basic in action. And boom, does an attack, then does another bonus attack. And that is the basic, pretty simple. Let's talk about this next one, the special Spiteful Sting. It's available on turn one, five out of five energy costs, stealing 30% health for the primary target. So not a lot of, uh, not a lot of damage, but 30% health. So percent based damage, not that bad. He's going to redistribute that to himself and receiving an additional 40, uh, 4,000 health. Not a lot, but it's bypassing heal block, getting evade. And in dark dimension, all the positive effects on this character are, uh, are by duration of one are being prolonged and that is to a maximum of four. So let's check out the animation for that move. And this is what it's gonna look like. You're attacking that target, stealing, draining the health, and then he is getting the health back. That is the drain. And then he's getting that uh, regeneration and a bunch of other things when he's uh, in there. Actually, just, just the regeneration. Uh, let's look at the ultimate. Hostile Takeover, also available on turn one, five energy cooldown. You're going to gain offense up, up to a maximum of three. Then you're going to attack the primary target, 400% damage. Adjacent targets, 350% damage. And then on kill, two random positive effects himself, all Pemtech and villain allies. And then he's going to repeat this attack, targeting the most injured enemy first. So let's see that animation in action here, guys. This is the ultimate here. Boom. Attacking the primary target, attacking adjacent targets. One of the adjacent targets dies, so he's going to attack the lowest health enemy remaining. And boom, does it again. And there gets the kills. And very, very cool stuff. I uh, can't wait to use that and see all these uh, positive effects that will be uh, 
applied to the Pimtech allies, Villantech allies, and a lot of people speculating Ultron would be good for this team. I'm thinking he would be a good replacement until we get this full Pimtech team. So yeah, I, I like that choice there. And his passive, Don't Cross Me, kind of cool name. Darren Cross is the real name of Yellow Jacket. While this character is the offense up, he's gaining more speed. In Dark Dimension, gaining more damage for himself and Pimtech allies, which is kind of disappointing. Having a character that is a is a just for uh dark dimension. So hopefully, let's see what the tags are, guys. I'm not I'm not very excited about these dark dimension bonuses, but the rest of his kit looks pretty good. Let's go back to the blog post where we talked about the uh differences in the uh the characters. We have four new playable characters. The first one was Yellow Jacket. Uh, the second one was confirmed yesterday on Twitter. So let's go take a look at that confirmation. Boom. It is Dr. Doom. Now we knew Dr. Doom was coming. The only time was when is he coming? And it looks like he's coming this update from this Twitter uh, post, an official Marvel Strike Force Facebook account or uh, Twitter account. Now let's take a look at it. It's only a five second clip. So we're not going to see too much, but we'll, we'll try to uh, slow it down and see what we can see. So there we see some other Doom bots. So people that are speculating Doom bots uh, is part of his kit exactly right and he is getting some blue bats and he actually has defense up there so that's an important thing to uh note now when you go and we see the animation here we see it's a big aoe looking attack so uh speculation for his kit a lot of people on the live stream this morning we were discussing it and thinking maybe his basic very similar to ultron maybe stealing some positive effects things like that is special i'm thinking it's going to summon doom bots uh, i think the kit is going to be very similar to Ultron and then that uh, last attack I think we, we saw in this Twitter post right here is his ultimate and speculation maybe it's gonna be strong like the Ultron ultimate uh, but be an AoE attack so a little better than Ultron I think he's gonna be the upgraded version of Ultron he is the dar uh, reward for Dark Dimension 4 Ultron was the reward for Dark Dimension 2 and was very, very good reward. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your preview of the, or let me know your thoughts on the Dr. Doom kit. We will see it in full on the Mobile Gamer stream tonight. So we'll get the full reveal. But before that comes out, uh, let me know your thoughts on what you think the kit for Dr. Doom will be. Let's go back to the blog post. ISO 8 updates. And we saw this on the Strike Time episode. We heard a little bit about this on that strike time episode let's go and check that out boom and it's around the five minute mark 520 mark or so that they talked about this uh previous for iso 8 and what they were talking about is color coding for the traits and that's going to be an important thing if we go into the game i'll show you what that uh what they're talking about so if we go into the game and take a look at one of these characters here let's take a look at negasonic she's a blaster and if we look at this type of iso 8 crystal you use is blaster uh tags right here and if you look they have white icons right here and uh john durr was talking about these white icons color coding so you could tell when you get a blaster or if we get another character here let's move on to the next character controller so controller would oh not that one this one right here is a little different so instead of just these different symbols getting some different colored icons which makes it a little easier uh the other thing that i'm expecting in this one which was talked about in the blog post coming uh, very, very soon is locking your uh, ISO H for arena defense. They have that right now for a war defense. I have not used it yet. I know it was broken when it first came out and I haven't used it since then. So it may still be broken. It may be working, but uh, hopefully by the time they roll this out for arena, it is working properly. And also mentioned in the strike time episode here uh, was a couple other things. Now, this is not coming in this update, but talked about a uh, uh timeline for spring 21 for these things tier two for iso 8 so being able to upgrade things a little more new classes so we have the striker the raider uh sir skirmisher so on so on new classes with some new bonuses i think that sounds very interesting uh but that that is a little ways away and then extending some more bonuses for existing classes and uh, we could go up to level six level seven not sure was not cl stated clearly in this uh in this strike time episode but uh yes save your ions guys in case these are coming let's go back to this uh blog post here and talk about doom chapter two because that is the other thing that's talked about here new campaign so let's go take a look at that join strike time uh during strike in their guerrilla war against doom forces team possessing the following traits so doom chapter two the important thing here squirrel girl becoming farmable that is good stuff <laughs> And even better, especially if you're collecting your Black Order characters, guys. Proxima Midnight. Yes, 
double arrow horn for that. Now, to get to these missions, and I'm thinking after chapter three, we're getting some mini unique pieces or, or uh, the catalyst for that. Uh, after chapter six is going to be squirrel girl. And after chapter or, uh, node nine, not not the chapters, all these nodes, the node three, node six, node nine is where we're going to get this stuff. The node six, I think squirrel girl, node nine, Proxima Midnight. Now, you got aim, uh, mercenary, Wakanda. My recommendations for these is the Wakandans. They are the premier, but... We got to do some replacing. Let's sort of replace Okoye. Let's replace Black Panther. Let's replace M'Baku and put uh, Taskmaster. Let's put Merc Riot Guard and Merc Lieutenant on that Wakandans team. And then I think they're going to dominate these uh, nodes right here. Mission one to three. That is my recommendations for these. Now for these Spider-Verse, the Spider-Verse characters, the symbiotes, they can dominate everything. If you don't have them, though, maybe some hybrid of the Marauders. And remember... Emma Frost does not have the Marauder tag. So just Sinister, just Sabretooth, just Strife and Mystique are eligible with this Marauder tag. Now, this is the interesting thing here. Hand. Now, we have a Nobu Blitz going on right now as I'm speaking, which is kind of weird. Nobody's really requesting Nobu, but there's been rumors floating around of a hand rework. So let me know in the comments, guys. Are you thinking the hand is getting reworked in this update as well? We're getting that Pimtech team. So it's very likely that Ant-Man or Wasp are getting a rework, but... Hand, do you think they're getting a rework as well? Is that is that Noble Blitz a clue to what we can expect in this next update? Let me know in the comments. And then Mission 7 through 9 has the Black Order. Very good team, but Thanos does not have the Black Order tag. So we could use four of the members, not all five. Hydra has some interesting characters. So maybe using Black Order without Thanos, but with Zemo will be a good team. Maybe with Taskmaster, if your Taskmaster built up. And unless we have a lot of waves, if we have one or two waves, I think power armor will be very good. If it's like three or four or five waves on these missions, power armor might struggle. So Black Order with Zemo would be my first pick. Power armor would be my second pick. But power armor pick would be based really on all of the uh, all of the waves that we would have to face in these previous in these uh in this uh node right here all right and that is that is about it for doom war chapter two those are my team recommendations without knowing anything about the nodes the enemies or anything like that but hopefully those enemies will get you through this doom chapter two so you could farm proxima farm squirrel girl giving us the two farmable characters in uh with just this chapter so uh looking forward to that i don't think they made it for october guys we got corvus glaive in october and that is it, unless you're counting Symbiote Spider-Man, which I think Scopely is. So uh, in my mind, that is the first month that they fell short October of giving us two new characters per month because Spider-Man is not farmable. Symbiote Spider-Man is not farmable right now. So a little disappointed in that. I was hoping we would get another character in October. But if this update is coming next week, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to make the cut date. For that for to make october but november looks like it'd be good for two new characters let's go back to this uh initial update coming soon because in it talking about four new playable characters we talked about two of them already we talked about yellow jacket definitely coming to game dr doom definitely coming to the game i don't know if he's going to be playable in this update in this month but uh he he will be available if for some reason you go crazy and are able to complete dark dimension four uh those and let's talk about the last two though the last two rumored characters, these are not confirmed yet, maybe confirmed in the blog post tomorrow, but Stature, rumored for a while as coming to the game as part of this Pym Tech team. Stature is Cassie Lang, the daughter of Ant-Man in the movies. She was in the MCU movies as well. And the last but not least, rounding out that Pym Tech team is Ghost, rumored character. Uh, that is the fifth rumored character of this team. So let me know your thoughts. The villain from the Ant-Man and Wasp movie. Uh, date for this, well, uh, normally updates drop on Tuesday, so my prediction for this update, and it's not too far of a stretch, guys, Tuesday, October 2nd is what I'm predicting for this update. Hopefully, that is when the update comes. Let me know your predictions in the comments for this update, guys. Uh, it looks to be a fun one, and where do you think this Pimtech team is going to be used? Do you think it's just for Dark Dimension? Or do you think it's going to be what the rumors are suggesting that this is the team that's going to unlock the next legendary? Nothing confirmed about that yet, but uh, let me know what you are thinking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you get ready for this update. Save your tech gear, guys, because yeah, you're going to need it if you're wanting to build up this Pym Tech team. 
Uh, so save your gear and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, smash that like button. Join the notification squad. New video coming out tonight after the Doom Kit is released on OMG stream. So I will see you guys there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, smash that like button, join the notification squad, share this with your friends and check me out on Twitch. I stream every weekday morning. Check me out on social media as well. Give me a Hulk fist bump before you go. Valley flying out.